Dutch Lady Milk Industries Brahad, DLMI, was established in 1963, in Petaling J. Yasse Today, DLMI become a 600-strong company that offers an extensive range of quality, and, delicious milk-based dairy products from formulated milk powder, yogurt drinks, to fresh milk and UHT, distributed nationwide to help Malaysians stay nourished, and healthy, to help them move forward in life. In 1963, the company was known as Pacific Milk Industries Malaya Sandiri and Brahad. And in 1975, Dutch Lady changed their title to Dutch Baby Milk Industries Malaya Brahad. As the company modernized, the company changed its title to Dutch Lady Milk Industries Brahad in the year of 2000. And in 2011, Dutch Lady was one of the best dairy product brands in Malaysia which it was described as the pioneer of the advertising division in the growing dairy division, with the Dutch Lady brand holding 40% of the national advertising share. Dutch Lady Milk Industries Brahad, DLMI products are certified halal, by the Halal Hub Division, of the Department of Islamic Development Malaysia, Salong or Islamic Religious Department, and, other relevant recognized foreign halal certification bodies, and authorities. DLMI manufacturing processes reflect, an understanding that halal food, and drinks, are important to every Muslim consumer. DLMI strives, to continue delivering better nourishment for the nation, and, assist to build a stronger Malaysia for future generations, as one of Malaysia's leading dairy companies. This helps DLMI, to fulfill their purpose of nourishing Malaysians, with quality dairy nutrition, to help them move forward in life. The business nature of Dutch Lady Industries Berhad is, manufacturing, and distributing dairy, and dairy-related products. Their target market is, people of all ages, from babies to adults. Six years after its inception, Dutch Lady became the first dairy company in Malaysia, to be listed on the stock exchange. DLMI, is chaired by, a senior independent non-executive director, and, assisted by several other directors under him. Now, move on to company's current strategy. The first strategy is, partnership. Dutch Lady Milk Industry Berhad, has partnered with the government, to fulfill its national agenda, in the field of food security, to increase domestic food supply, through ongoing milk development program, and the national health agenda, to improve the health, and nutritional status of Malaysians. The second strategy is, market development. In 2020, DLMI, has expanded its manufacturing footprint in Malaysia, with the purchase of land, in Bandarinstek, Negeri Sembilan. The site will be converted, into a new manufacturing facility there, and make it a major halal dairy hub, to benefit the country. Next, is, product development. In 2020, Dutch Lady has innovated a combination of juice and milk, in their product range, known as Juicy Milk, which are orange, mango, and, strawberry flavored milk. Prior to this, Dutch Lady also had released, a combination of milk and date flavors, Bandung, and, banana milk, as a new variant, of their flavored milk. In 2020, the Dutch Lady has won several awards such as, at the 5th edition of, the Appies 2020, Malaysia Marketing Campaign Awards, Dutch Lady Milk Industries won the Gold Award in the Food and Beverage category, for its Dutch Lady Growing Up Milk Life Changer Campaign, 2019. Next, University Kabangsa Malaysia, UKM awarded DLMI with the Industry Partner Award, 2020, in appreciation of their partnership with UKM and Friesland Kampina DLMI, on CNUTS 1 and CNUTS 2. DLMI also, was once again named as the gold winner at the Putra Brand Awards, 2019, confirming Dutch Lady as Malaysia's number one milk brand. This is Dutch Lady's fourth consecutive People's Choice Award, in the dairy beverage category, demonstrating the trust and loyalty that Malaysian consumers having DLMI. Before go through the IFE matrix, let's take a look at the company's key internal strengths and weaknesses. The first strengths is, DLMI have a strong revenue of RM 1.1 billion. Number 2, DLMI also has positive results for the Internal Employee Satisfaction Survey, over to you, with an improvement in 7, out of 15 categories. Number 3, DLMI is leading company in the liquid milk category. Strength number 4, Dutch Lady had achieved the highest value market share of, 42.2%. And point number 5, 
DLMI remained efficient in their approach, to adapting to the new normal, focusing on core priorities, commercial performance, and, emerging strong with an overall volume rise of 7%, compared to 2019. For weaknesses, the first one is, dividends are heavily influenced by DLMI's profitability, as well as, the company's business, and operational demands for the current year, and the future. Secondly, DLMI having lack of information on their products packaging, as they did not have any security design that led the product to be counterfeited which can cause health hazards for consumers. The third weakness is, DLMI have limited supplier options, as they do not have their own farm like Farm Fresh. And lastly, DLMI's EPS have declined at a compound rate of 17% per year, during the previous three years. According to internal factor evaluation, the total weighted score is, 2.69, which is above the average of 2.5. Thus, it shows that Dutch Lady Milk Industries, have a strong internal position, utilizing their strengths, and, improving their weaknesses. However, to achieve highest score of 4, Dutch Lady Milk Industries need to improve, in terms of their profitability, and, packaging quality. While, for external factor evaluation, the first key external opportunity is, DLMI is permitted to operate, because, it falls under the food and beverage sector. Other than that, the opportunity that DLMI can grab is, tremendous potential customers. Next, demand for dairy products increases, during festival seasons, and, DLMI can spread awareness of dairy products through social media. Moving on to, the threats. First, due to COVID-19, the prices of global dairy raw materials increased. Second threat is, the weakening of the average exchange rate from RM to USD, are increasing to 4.20 in 2020. There is also, increasing local competition, that DLMI needs to face. Fourth point is, weaker consumer spending, due to COVID-19, and, lastly, many substitute product. The total weighted score of, external factor evaluation is, 2.77, which also above the average of 2.5. It shows that, Dutch Lady Milk Industries is doing good, they are taking advantage of the external opportunities and avoiding the threats. DLMI can capitalize the opportunity of, demand for dairy products during festival seasons, and threat of local competition, and, substitute product. On competitive profile matrix, there are, 9 critical success factors, between Dutch ladies competitors, which are, Farm Fresh, Fraser & Neve, FNN, and Nestle. The table shows that, Nestle is a fierce competitor to Dutch lady. This is because, the total score for Nestle is, 3.15, which is, highest weighted score compared to other competitors. The most critical success factor for Nestle are, product quality, which has the highest score of 0.64, followed by market share, with a score of 0.48. Next, SWOT matrix. The first SO strategy is, increase revenue, by having tremendous potential customers, and, increase demand in festive season. Number 2, strengthen commercial performance, to increase demand during festive season, and increase, product awareness through social media. For SD strategy, the first strategy is, maintain leading liquid category position, to compete local competition, and, substitute product. Next, boost commercial channel, to counter with substitute product. Moving on to, WO strategy, strategy number one is, increase awareness of product quality through social media. Strategy number two, increase demand in dairy product, to increase company profitability. And, lastly, WD strategy, which including benchmarking the packaging quality of competitor products. The quantitative strategic planning matrix table shows, the analytical framework of the formulation of three strategies, consisting of strategies of enhancing special festive campaigns, setting quality KPIs, and, expanding the market. As a result, this QSPM objectively shows that, expanding market strategy, is the best strategy. Based on the strategy on this QSPM, two recommendations have been made to Dutch Lady Milk Industries Berhad, which are, strategy to expand the market, which shows the highest number of total attractive scores, and, boost the special festival campaign. As mentioned before, the first recommendation is, expanding the market. This strategy is made from the SWOT matrix of ST strategy of strength number 3, 
threat number 3, and threat number 4, which is maintaining leading liquid category position, to compete local competition, and substitute product. To maintain DLMI's position, market expansion needs to be done. Market expansion is a method of advertising items on a larger scale in existing exhibits, or making them accessible in modern advertising. Expanding its market to a strategic location, will give more advantages to the Dutch Lady Company which can attract, and, expand, more of its target markets nationwide, strengthening its position, by becoming the world's leading milk producer, which in turn, can increase customer loyalty to its products. The second strategy is, Boost Special Festive Campaign which influenced by the SO strategy of S5, O3, and O4, which is strength and commercial performance, to increase demand during festival season, and, increase product awareness using social media. Boost Special Festive Campaigns, can be done by providing extraordinary offers, discounts or releasing a limited version of Dutch Lady related product range. It is the best strategy to increase profits by, considering trading at a profitable time, and, being able to increase the company's revenue. DLMI can utilize social media platforms to promote special festive content such as, its limited edition products, which is dates flavored milk, which, it is not only promoting the limited edition of Ramadan campaign, but also increase awareness by, sharing the benefits and nutrients of dates, to its customer. In conclusion, Although Dutch Lady has been well established in the industry since 1963, and, has the best position in the dairy industry, it does not promise that Dutch Lady will continue to be strong company in its field. Various strategies, and, improvements need to be considered, to drive the growth of the company, and maintain consumer loyalty to its products. Through this company analysis project, some of the best strategies of improvement were successfully identified, through three levels of strategy formulation analysis framework, which are, internal and external factors evaluation, SWOT matrix, and QSPM, in addition to, identifying the key strengths of the Dutch Lady's competitors. With this information, Dutch Lady was able to put plans in place, and, measure their performance, to strengthen its position in the milk production, and distribution industry.